Hello everyone and welcome to the newest episode. Recently the new Lord of the Rings set was released and I have had the opportunity to play several games with different kind of decks. I've tried out Azorius card drawing and token deck, Raktus with MS, Dimir also with MS and Celestia food token deck. After playing with so many cards I wanted to share my experience and discuss what in my opinion are the top 3 cards from each color from the set. Today we will start with the white cards and the first one on the list is Dawn of a New Age. Dawn of a New Age is an incredibly powerful card in the token deck. Costing only 2 mana it's surprisingly cheap for what it can do. Uh, this enchantment enters the battlefield with a hope counter on it for each creature you control. At the beginning of your end step you remove a hope counter from this card. If you do, you draw a card. And if Dawn of a New Age has no hope counters on it, you sacrifice it and you will gain 4 life. This card is amazing. Even when you have just, let's say, two creatures on the battlefield, just imagine using it and you will draw two cards every turn and at the end also you will gain 4 life. It provides a significant advantage and especially I enjoy playing this in my Gondor Azorius deck where for example Faramir can flute the battlefield with three tokens at once. So this combination of this card is just fantastic. Moving on to the next card we have Flowering of the White Tree. This card also costs only 2 mana but it requires 2 white mana this time. Legendary creatures you control get plus 2 plus 1 and have ward 1. Non-legendary creatures you control get plus one plus one. It's a very cool card and in my opinion also very uh, powerful. It boosts your creatures significantly and provides them with a certain level of protection, in this case the legendary creatures. And even small token creatures benefit from the plus one plus one boost. And yeah, I can hardly believe it costs only two mana. It's so cheap and uh, yeah, you can also play it turn two. And I must also mention that I love the artwork uh, depicting the elite guards surrounding the trees, the blue ones. You can also see in the film. And lastly I want to highlight an uncommon card that I enjoy playing especially when my opponent spends 4 or more mana on the spell and essentially wastes their entire turn. It's called Reprieve. This card allows you to return target spell to its owner's hand and you will draw a card. I love playing this card because when I cast it to return a spell that costs five or five, uh, 4 or 5 mana and my opponent doesn't have any mana left, it feels like I gain an additional turn. Moreover, I already know that uh, what they will try to play next turn uh, as they often attempt the same spell again. Mm, yeah, and this gives me an advantage because I can prepare myself better for their next move. So there you have it, my top 3 cards from the Lot of the Rings set. I would love to hear about your favorite cards from this set as well. And thank you for watching and uh, see you next time, bye bye.